Welcome back to Transcriber from Reddit. Today's topic comes from the subreddit xLutheran, posted by user Don't Eat the Cookies Mom. The post is a text post titled Another Well School Under a Human Rights Investigation. The body of the post reads as follows. What the article fails to note is that the teacher in question is Mrs. Katrina Braun. Note that her last name is spelled B-R-O-H-N. I continue reading. Anyone want to guess her husband's role in the school? If you guess that he's the principal, then you understand how even the most unqualified teachers, people that have no business being in the classroom, are often assigned to a school just so that a husband will accept a call in the Wells cult. As a reminder, women are not, the word not is in all caps, allowed to serve as principals in the Wells cult. Of course, this young student was bullied over and over by his teacher. Her husband, James Braun, allowed both his wife and a teacher that reports directly to him to abuse a vulnerable child. Wells is not safe for children. Remember, there was already a Wells school in Minnesota that is under direct oversight by the state for failing to protect a young girl from being molested by other students. Brauns are another name in Wells. The word name is in all caps. Those kind of names could stick a kid in a broom closet for a year and face zero consequences from the other Wells names. Below the text is the link to the news article. The source is hometownsource.com and it's under their community section. And as of this recording, This post, even though it's over a year old, has 24 upvotes and 39 comments. Let's head over to the article. The article reads as follows. The title is Bloomington Family Files Complaint Against Lutheran School. Written by Mike Hanks, community editor, back on March 12th, 2023. A Bloomington family that has been dissatisfied with how their son has been treated in the classroom of his private school has filed a disability discrimination complaint with the Minnesota Department of Human Rights. The complaint outlines the concerns of Andrew and Lauren Matheson, who claim their fifth grader, who began the school year at Bloomington Lutheran School, has been targeted with repeated and persistent discipline, primarily associated with his schoolwork in English. Quote, some of the discipline set forth defies explanation, end quote, their complaint states. The complaint was filed March 2nd after a series of steps the parents say were made to resolve their concerns with school and parish leaders. Scrolling down past a bunch of ads to continue. The Mathesons are seeking, in part, to return their son and two other children to the school and accommodations for their son, consistent with the Minnesota Human Rights Act. The Department of Human Rights will determine if the matter warrants an investigation. If so, it will conclude if there is probable cause that discrimination took place at the school, according to Meg Kane a St. Paul attorney practicing education law and serving as the legal counsel to the Mathesons. Filing a complaint with the state is a means to a resolution that avoids the cost of litigation, a recommendation Kane makes to families of modest means. How soon the complaint may lead to a resolution is uncertain, but it may be a few months before the state determines if an investigation is warranted, she noted. The issues between the Mathesons and Bloomington Lutheran School began last fall, when their son Jack began fifth grade. He had been diagnosed with anxiety prior to the start of the year, and the school was informed of his diagnosis. He had never had disciplinary issues at school prior to fifth grade and was a good student, according to his parents. The complaint details concerns about how Jack was treated in his classroom as a result of incomplete or incorrect schoolwork, claiming he had been sent out to the hallway during the school day multiple times as a result of his classroom performance, was dismissed last lunch 
excuse me, was dismissed last for lunch repeatedly and was denied the ability to refill a water bottle or go to the restroom. The complaint also claims that Jack was singled out by his teacher and threatened with expulsion during instances dating back to September. Quote, Jack experienced crying episodes, dizziness, stomach aches, and panic attacks at school and home, end quote, according to the complaint. The complaint also details efforts the family claims were made to resolve their son's difficulties at school, including meetings with his teacher and the school's principal, who is the teacher's husband. The family's failure to resolve their concerns were taken to the school board and a pastor of Bloomington Living Hope Lutheran Church, which operates the West Bloomington School in October. The school board reported that the concerns of the Mathesons had been investigated and no action was warranted, the complaint noted. The Mathesons also engaged the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, which oversees the school, and failed to reach a resolution. All three of the family's children were disenrolled by the school in late October, according to the Mathesons. The Matheson children are the third generation to attend Bloomington Lutheran School, following their mother and grandmother, and the fourth generation to attend the church, where the Mathesons were married, according to Lauren Matheson. The family's preference is to return their children to the school as they want to send their children to a Lutheran school, and there's not another option that can accommodate all three children within a reasonable distance from their home. Since the children were removed from their classrooms, Lauren Matheson has been homeschooling them, she noted. Kane, the family's legal counselor, says it appears, excuse me, said it appears that in response to Jack's anxiety diagnosis, the school has picked on the child rather than work to accommodate his diagnosis. Professional standards would call for the school to address the Matheson's concerns with an open mind and take effective action, but that doesn't appear to be how the Bloomington, excuse me, to appear to be how Lo Bloomington Lutheran School addressed the concerns, according to Kane. Quote, they used the system to remove parents who had a legitimate concern, end quote, she said. Bloomington Lutheran School Principal James Braun said the school and parish did not have comment in response to the complaint filed by the Matheson's. At the bottom, it reads, follow Bloomington Community Editor Mike Hanks on Twitter at, at SunCurrent and on Facebook at SunCurrent Central. This is egregious behavior by the school and the church. I hope that... It is my hope, although very skeptic hope at that, that the people who abused this child will be held accountable and will not just be shuffled off to another congregation. No child deserves to be bullied because of his or her disabilities. What puzzles me is this family, this family supposedly is the third generation to attend this school. They've been with the church for four generations. Why would the school treat a fourth generation family this way? Fourth generation parents and kids are t are treated generally are generally treated with higher regard higher respect and are generally given more leniency than other kids than parents of other kids i know the bronze are a wells family name but why why would the church and school allow this to happen to a third generation. You would think of all the, the things that they do, the allowances that they make, all of everything that they do for Wells name members and especially people who have been in the Wells for as long as the Mathesons have, you would think that they would have worked with the family to accommodate their little boy's anxiety diagnosis. 
However, based off of just reading this article, it seems like the anxiety diagnosis made the Wells names in the school believe that the family was no longer worthy of being part of the Wells and that it was open season for them to encourage picking on and abusing the child in this manner. I will keep you posted as to further updates regarding this case. And if you have any updates that you would like to share, please reach out to me using my email in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.